Okay, so we have an equipment video here, so let's take a look at what this thing is. Um, this comes in two parts. If we pull it apart, we can see that this is a mega voltage Linac X-ray target right here. And you can see this one's been damaged. See the little pit in there? That's why this one was replaced. That's what a clean target looks like, and this is a damaged one. Uh, this came out of a mega voltage therapy machine. This is a two energy machine. Um, a 6 and a 15, or as we call it, 16 MV beam. Um, it's got two targets on this one for producing both those beams. Um, it's got cooling lines, so we have water cooling, just water cooling hookups right here. It is designed um, specifically for each energy. So you can see here on the 6 MV side, this target is thinner so if you look this whole drill down here and this whole space is thinner than on the 16 mv side and the reason why is because for this this looks like a copper target you want the 6 mv side to be just thick enough to stop the 6 mev electron beam coming in and hitting this target and not any thicker than it needs to be to stop that beam and also produce adequate cooling the reason why is because you want this x-ray beam to exit this target. If you made this target this entire thickness, you would have a thickness of copper attenuating away your 6 MV x-ray beam. You can see here on the 16 MV side, this one is visibly thicker. The distance between these two holes is um, thicker on these. It needs to be thicker. Higher energy electron beam needs a thicker target to completely stop the target in. Um, but you can see some of it still drilled away because that excess copper wasn't needed to cool the target. So this target is x-rays only. It has water cooling. The um, Linac has its own internal water cooling system. Um, and it also operates inside a vacuum. And so that's what the rest of this equipment is. You can see this target, I don't know, there's like a tube down in there that the target goes down into. Slide in there, can't quite to make sure that the target goes into its tube. Doing it blind, there it goes. Barely got in. Um, and then for use, the beam is going to penetrate this thing. This entire unit is in a vacuum. It's got this fancy spring here to allow the target to shift between 6 MV and 16 MV position. So the machine's going to position it specifically. It's got cooling lines coming out the back of it. Um, and this whole thing had to be replaced because of that damage. And then you can see here, um, this whole unit is sealed at the factory. And so when they wanted to pull this apart, so we could see the target, you had to punch a hole in it, right? Psst, you gotta pop the vacuum to let the air in so you could pull this whole thing apart. Otherwise it would be like a vacuum seal and we wouldn't be able to get it apart. Um, you can also see here the ring, there should have been an O-ring in there to seal this whole thing up. Um, so that's the basics of the high energy x-ray target. And just to emphasize the point about the target thickness, I think you can tell if I were to draw a cross section of this thing, the target would look something like this. It'd have the 6 MV divot, the 15, or as we call it, 16 MV divot. And then on the other side, you'd have a much deeper hole for one versus the other. So this would be six MeV E-beam coming in, and this side would have a 15, 15 MeV E-beam coming in here. Hitting these targets, the electrons would completely stop in here. The 15 one needs a little extra space. The electrons completely stop in there. The X-rays come screaming out of this one, or it shifts forward to put this focal spot in the same position, and the 15 MeV beam Here's a 6 MV X-ray beam coming out, and then a 15 mega voltage X-ray beam coming out of this one. So that's the basics of a mega voltage Linac target.